Okay, the last race here on day two is the Wolferton Handicap for the, the Littler Trainers. It's a 0 20 event. It's over 10 furlongs. And number one is Super Cat Ananias. Top weight. Second is Gillen for Martin Liedem with Book of Talisman, a previous, uh, I think, Group 2 winner or Group 3 winner. First race of the week. Charlie, the season, should I say. Charlie and Sleepless Carl Arroganti. Feeders for Obi One. Speedy Princess for Darren Howe. Silvery Art for Dog One, along with Kookaburra Art. Electric Sheep for Gaming Mean Hand. Gold Dream for Dan Hughes with Gunship Barn. Human Race for Stu Gray. Miss Dior for Ananias. Got one at the top, one at the bottom. 14 of them. Nice little naught to 18. They're in the gates. Flags raised and they're away. Wait for it to go through the first furlong or so here. It's a book of Talisman against the fence, but the two Dub Warren horses of Kookaburra and Silvery Art. The Art Brothers. Girls. Maybe sisters or brother and sister. Or maybe cousins. Anyway, it's Kookaburra Art and Silvery Art that lead us by about four. They probably are kissing cousins, knowing the way we all breed. Anyway, it's Kookaburra Art and Silvery Art that lead us by about five lengths to Human Race, Super Cat, Gunship Barn, Speedy Princess, then Sleepless, Gold Dream, then a length or so back to Electric Sheep, Miss Dior's out wide. Then we've got uh, Feelers, Gillen and Booker Tellers and drifting towards the back. So it's Kookaburra Art and Silvery Art, Doug Moore and Companions. Leading us inside the six furlongs now. Got about a five length advantage from Speedy Princess and Human Race. Then a couple of greys. We've got Miss Dior. Oh no, Miss Dior's the one moving well on the outside now. Sorry, the greys are Gunship Barn and Super Cat. But still, Kookaburra Art and Silvery Art inside the five now. Rolling along comfortably together. Here comes Ananias Super Cat and Miss Dior's in four. Pushing through against the fence of Gunship Barn now and Gold Dream. Tainted Human needs to move up a little bit. Speedy Princess is doing well. So up front, though, as they hit the three furlongs from home, it's Kookaburra Art and Silvery Art. But Kookaburra Art's the one that's starting to head for home. From Silvery Art now comes Gunship Barn. Anyway, it's Kookaburra Art inside the two. It's Kookaburra Art from Gunship Barn. Moving well through his Gold Dream. They're trying to chase down this leader now, but Kookaburra Art's hanging on to it. The one moving really well out wide is Charlie, but it's still Kookaburra Art for Doug Warren. As they get to the furlong pole, it's Kookaburra Art. He starts to pull away again, but they're, they're Coming out of the pack at him, Charlie, Super Cat, Human Race, but it's Kookaburra Ra. But over the top, as I saw, was Charlie coming out of nowhere. Carl Arrogant is Charlie, running on well is Feelers, but Feelers, Feelers, Feelers from nowhere. And last at first, I think, has gone up there for Obi One. Impressive win if he has. That's the Doug Warren horses. Look like Charlie was going to hang on to this, but a dream ride through by the stewards. I can imagine probably Feelers have barged his way through there. But uh, disqualification doesn't happen a lot in the league. Let's have a look. We I don't think we've had one this year. No, Obi-Wan wins it by a short head from Charlie in second for Carl Aaron Ganty. Third was Silvery Art for Dog Warren. Fourth was Electric Sheep for Kerry Meenahan. Fifth was Kookaburra Art for Dog Warren, our long-time leader. So that's the last one today, guys. Good win there for Feelers and Obi-Wan. And £36,000.